Have you ever taken omeprazole or pantoprazole for stomach pain, gastritis, or acid reflux? Many people think they're the same thing, but there are important differences that can change the treatment. Today I'm going to explain in a simple and quick way the main differences between these two medications. And by the way, if you like learning about health and medicines in an easy way, subscribe to the channel and stay with me until the end, because this explanation can make all the difference in your treatment. Omeprazole and pantoprazole belong to the same class of medicines, proton pump inhibitors. They're used to reduce stomach acid production and to treat conditions such as gastritis, ulcer, reflux esophagitis, and zollinger ellison syndrome. In other words, both have the same main goal, protecting the stomach from excess acid. So how do they work? Inside the stomach, there's an enzyme called hydrogen potassium ATPase, also known as the proton pump. This enzyme works like a faucet that releases hydrochloric acid for digestion. Both omeprazole and pantoprazole attach to the pump and block its function. The result? Less acid in the stomach, less heartburn, and fewer chances of ulcers. The mechanism is the same. What changes is how each one acts in the body. Omeprazole is the most well-known, the oldest, and is usually used in shorter treatments. Pantoprazole, on the other hand, is more modern, has fewer interactions with other medications, and can be used for longer periods depending on the doctor's recommendation. In practice, both should only be used with medical advice. The treatment is usually for a limited time because excessive use can bring risks. And it doesn't help to choose by yourself which one is better. The doctor will evaluate your condition, other medicines you use, and the right treatment time. Did you like the explanation? then go ahead and give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with someone who also takes these medicines. In the next videos, I'll talk about other medications that are widely used in daily life, so stay tuned.